It's fine. I think it's good. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's try it, okay? So, hello and welcome to the Think Bamboo podcast. Today we're here at the Bamboo Expo, at the European Bamboo Expo in Germany um, with Fina Van Boo from Belgium. Yeah. Belgium. Belgium and you have Bamboo Belgium. <laughs> I have a company that's named Bamboo Belgium, Belgium. because it's created in, Bam- in Belgium, and but we produce and But it's European Bamboo, 100%. Uh, the 100% not yet. Okay. We now have still the pulp uh, from China, okay, but, but only the pulp. Yeah. For the rest, we do everything already in Europe. And, uh, you in, an area, yeah, in an area of 80 kilometers take 100 kilometers maximum we do everything from the beginning until the end and uh, so now we still buy the pulp from China but of course the solution the end solution is that we do everything in Portugal and to get that end solution you mentioned before you already have bamboo in Belgium or yes already we planted. have a few yes how much how big what kind of bamboo uh, we have uh, a few, uh, one hectare. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we have six, uh, six different bamboo types. Uh, bamboo types planted there because we are now just sort of with, uh, agriculture in Europe, in Belgium. Okay. And you're kind of testing all yeah. that, yeah. 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 And, and how, like, what's the planting strategy? Like every three meters, five meters, or? Uh, it's more or less three meters. Between each plant, oh, triangle maybe. Or? Uh, no, it's all lines. We planted in lines. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Because it's yeah. flat there, probably. Right? It's flat. Okay, yeah. so it's easy to manage. Yeah. 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 Lines are perhaps a little bit, but uh, okay. okay. We did it in lines, yeah. also to check uh, with the several qualities that we did mm-hmm. uh, to see how it grows in the room. So it's a big prototype, like a, a hundred and hundred meter prototype. Yes, that you have really. When did you plant it? Uh, I think one month ago. Wow, okay, this is, this yeah. is hey. Yeah, right. On really the podcast, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> amazing, amazing. And basically, uh, what you do is pretty cool because this is like your, you do clothing, 100% bamboo. So, and it's, it's very, uh, kind of touch it's, it's very soft, it's like uh, sat down a little bit. Um, and it's really, I mean, it's bamboo. And then you yeah. color it, of course. Yep. So yep. what's the natural color of bamboo? Is it like, or is it like no color? Or? It's beige. Beige. Ikku. Okay. Ikku. Yeah. yeah. So that's like a natural color then you have maybe also. We also have put uh, natural, yeah. like it is. Uh, that's the least as possible uh, and the, and the beginning like of process that you yeah. do, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And, and before we also mentioned like the antibacterial property of bamboo, which is something which is very interesting of course not everybody knows it bamboo has a natural antibacterial property and now the tricky part here is that of course once we transform that bamboo to pulp which then is transformed into a fiber for the clothing right mm-hmm. uh, there the question is how much of this uh, micro anti, uh, antibacterial property does it uh, keeps yeah. Exactly, exactly. yeah that's of course it's always the question uh, who does the research? Of course, that's, and, uh, that's a uh, classic. Yeah. Yeah. But we have this research. research. Yeah, we did yeah. the research. So let's talk about your research. <laughs> My research says that it is for 99%. Uh, is it antibacterial? Okay. It and keeps its ownership. But, uh, and how is it practically? If, if you do sports or if you sweat a little bit? Because I know from myself, if I do sports and I have like synthetic clothing, I, I, it smells very strong, exactly. So that's why I also prefer natural, organic uh, clothing. And I assume with bamboo, it's also like really, you, you don't have any... It's better. It's better. It's better. It's better. It's better. Um, that I'm sure, okay. because my husband is uh, a sweater. He doesn't need to sport. And he sweats, he has this kind exactly. of uh, oxal, uh, how you know, you can name it. Yeah. Um, and 
Even when he wears a cotton shirt or a bamboo shirt, you smell the difference. A cotton shirt, you smell it within three, four hours, you smell it. And when he wears the bamboo, he can stay for a day, one and a half day. And then also, after two days, I say, okay, now time to, time to change. <laughs> okay. But that makes sense because then uh, the, the, the microbes, which are like uh, created when you're sweating, kind of they can't stay there as well as with other fibers or, or synthetic which is really the worst it's, it's because uh, apparently the bacteria that you have from the sweat mm -hmm. uh, they they cannot multiply as they, easily they, yeah, yeah that's it that's very interesting yeah. and probably i mean the other thing is our biggest um, organ is the skin and having something natural on the skin is always better than having something totally synthetic and yeah. based on uh, fuel or I think oil. that's something that people are not aware of because we, we know what we eat, mm -hmm. we want to know what but we eat we don't and we are not aware of that this is the biggest one that's the biggest and we organ. have this yeah. for hours and hours on yeah. our skin Even during the night? Yeah. I mean, do you go with bed sheets and stuff like that? Is this something... Yes? There are bed sheets. Yeah. We also do it but not that much Okay, protein. You're starting. We How long have you been? into this uh... Uh, the company is existing now for 10 years 10 years ten wow years. So yeah but we did a long time okay like most people start and start buying and then start looking for better yeah we are building we have built very long at the fundamental of our house okay fine-tuning yes. yes and okay. now we are that like, the fundamental the fundament is there mm. so now we can build the house you can grow <laughs> yep wow <laughs> Okay. As the bamboo field. <laughs> As the bamboo field yeah. Everything needs time. The good thing needs yeah. time, right? Yeah. So um, this is why uh, we are at the bamboo industry. And um, yes. Well, Fina, um, is there something maybe you want to add? Um, we tried to make it short. <laughs> this podcast, I don't know, something you want to mention or some new product you, you have in the outlook, maybe? I think the, the, the most important is uh, reduce the CO2 wear bamboo. Okay. Cool, fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you a lot. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs>